and welcome back to another episode of the Cozy Conversations podcast. If you don't know by now, my name is Sarah. (laughs) My name is Taryn. And here we are recording this episode. How are you, Taryn? I'm doing, I'm doing all right. It was a beautiful sunny day here in Nebraska, very summery. So um, I'm always happy about that. (laughs) It was not sunny here in Virginia. But it's okay because I like the clouds. Yes, you do. You do. It was like looked like it should have been raining, uh-huh. but it wasn't raining at all. Oh. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of disappointing. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, you know, that's okay. <laughs> but to all of our listeners, if you've stuck around with us this long, thank you so much. This is yes. episode 10. Huh? Sirens in the distance. <laughs> maybe not sirens because that indicates like an emergency. Yeah. So maybe like, a, I don't know, something exciting. Confetti. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Taryn and I, this episode's going to look just a little bit different uh, because Taryn and I were discussing, you know, we're getting into our summers and yes. got some stuff going on. And we've decided that we've seen other podcasts do this. Um, but we've decided that we're going to divide Cozy conver- cozy Conversations into seasons. Yes. So welcome to the season finale of <laughs> Cozy Conversations. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> it's the last one <laughs> for, for a while. For a while. So we've you decided know. that, excuse me, we're going to do like about 10 episodes at a time in a season um, and then take a break for a little bit. For now, for the summer, we plan on coming back though. Yes, August fourth. Woo! Mark your calendars. Mark your calendars for August fourth because we are going to be coming in strong yes. with the four week series on college. Yes, we yep. know that this is that is that August is the time of year when people are going to college and getting ready to go to college or going back to college. Mm-hmm. Or you're like me and all the college students come back to where you live. <laughs> yes. Um, we just thought it'd be fun to like start really dive deep. We kind of did start in this season. <laughs> yeah. This season. Right. Didn't know it was going to be season. a season. Until right. I texted you like three hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. We kind of did start this season off with like discussing college life since that's how Taryn and I met. Mm-hmm. But we really want to like dive deeper into it this coming August. So, yeah. like we said, August fourth. When? August fourth. <laughs> <laughs> that will begin our four week. <clears throat> excuse me again. Uh, our four week series into college life, and then after that, yes. we'll have like six weeks or so where we're just going to talk all things cozy, mm-hmm. all things conversation, <laughs> and emphasis on the conversations part Taryn and I are thinking about and praying about having some special guests yes conversations I'm just going to throw out already that my coworker Khalil is ready to get on here (laughs) yes I've had several people oh go ahead go ahead (laughs) I've had several people approach me too and say oh, nice. they want to be on the podcast so yeah well he told me today he said what's your podcast called again cozy couch and I was like <laughs> close enough you know it's fine and he was like and I was like you should be on an episode and he was like just let me know when so <laughs> super exciting super exciting he's got a lot of wisdom to share so that'd be a lot of fun yeah but that's something to look forward to because although we are just taking a break for the summer we'll be back yeah and we'll be we'll be coming back strong coming back strong yes ready for the new the fall season coming up which is the coziest season of all yeah I'm so So, excited to do our podcast in the fall like no I'm so so pumped (laughs) um we love the fall clearly but Mm -hmm. anyways yeah so we just kind of wanted to normally at this point in the podcast episode we would go into like what the lord has been teaching us but we decided that you know taryn and i decided that we kind of want to do a recap of like our podcast theme verse and just kind of our heart and mission behind the podcast so taryn do you want to read our verse for us yes i will 
Um, our theme verse for the podcast is Colossians 2, 2 through 3. And it says that their hearts may be encouraged, having been knit together in love and attaining to all the wealth that comes from the full assurance of understanding, resulting in a true knowledge of God's mystery, that is, Christ himself, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. That's awesome. Yeah, that's just not only like our theme, but also just like, especially that first part, just our prayer for Mm -hmm. everyone who listens to our podcast, that your hearts would be encouraged. Yeah. Um, I I know Taryn and I, oh, I know Taryn and I like to have a lot of fun and we like to laugh and we like to giggle, (laughs) but like at the end of the day, our Mm -hmm. hearts are that you would be encouraged through what you hear on the podcast, whether it be what the Lord has been teaching us or one of Taryn's many banana recipes <laughs> that you would just feel encouraged through that. Yes, absolutely. And um, I just love how much is packed into these two verses. And oh, I yeah. feel like it really encompasses like our entire purpose, our mission, our vision mm-hmm. for the podcast, just like, first of all, like everything you said about being encouraged. And then the focus, like in the end of verse two on like the true knowledge of God's mystery that is Christ himself. Like, you know, we talk, we always want to talk every week about what the Lord's teaching us and like, Mm -hmm. you know, just how we're growing spiritually. And um, so I feel like that just encompasses that. And then verse three, um, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And I just think a lot of our topics on the podcast are like talking about being young adults and navigating Mm -hmm. the world and navigating hard issues or seasons of life. And so, and we do that through, you know, asking the Lord for his wisdom and knowledge. So I just love, you know, even as the podcast has gone on, I've came, I come back to this verse and I'm like, or these two verses and I'm like, wow, we picked, we picked really good verses, Sarah. Like we do. <laughs> no. Yeah. I really feel like the Lord has really used this verse to kind of like lay the foundation yeah. for our podcast and for our vision and like our model of how we want to use this podcast as a ministry just with like understanding like the loneliness that comes from seasons of change that like young people experience um and just kind of even like I know not all of our our listeners are okay I might offend like half of our audience (laughs) I know all of them are like young adults some of them might be more seasoned adults but I think that like no matter what through this podcast we're able to like talk about like okay you're going to be going through different seasons and seasons Mm -hmm. change yeah and that's not something that's going to start when you turn 18 that's going to be something that also can just continues throughout your whole entire life right exactly I think that's important too not only to kind of see like you know what our original like vision and goal was but to to kind of see how it's progressed throughout the past 10 episodes Yeah. yeah yeah absolutely yeah, for sure. And I know like, you know, with our model of our podcast, that we just want this to be like a cozy conversation. I mean, mm-hmm. that's what the podcast is called for a reason, yes. everybody. Yes. <laughs> um, but you know, we want to just also highlight that like life is a sweet mix of extraordinary moments made up of many ordinary moments. Yeah. And I think that that's fun. Like some days we're going to have, you know big lessons that the Lord is teaching us or Mm -hmm. there's going to be days like today for me for instance where it's like oh you know this is something that the Lord was teaching me like two months ago but I'm still trying to learn through that so that's just something we want to incorporate Mm -hmm. into our conversations as well Um, as well as we talk about like the everyday things like recipes books movies things like that yeah I think we've done a good job of that so far don't you (laughs) I think so too (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but no for sure and it's been a lot of fun too being able to like not only catch up you and I but it's been fun too because I've had people come up to me and they're like hey I've been listening to your podcast and I'm like <laughs> oh yeah I have a podcast that people listen yeah. to also but, the interaction on social media that yes. you all are getting answering the questions we it makes me so excited when I see the comment pop up I'm like oh my gosh somebody's commenting and so oh, keep God. interacting on yes. social we love that and even though for the next like I think it's maybe like six weeks I don't yeah. know the number specifically from now until August 4th even though we're not releasing podcast episodes we got a couple things still going on still in the works 
Mm-hmm. One of them is we're still going to be active on social media. Yes. So be sure to join us on there on our on Instagram, Facebook, mm-hmm. um, just to like keep up with us over our summers. And also we plan on releasing all of season one onto mm-hmm. YouTube. Yes. So, um, don't know when for sure, but we're going to release each episode as audio format as YouTube videos, just mm-hmm. because we know that not everyone has Spotify um right now that's the only like podcast platform that we have to be able to release Mm -hmm. um the podcast itself on but we also are gonna do youtube as well so be sure to like if you want to you know get caught up again and like listen to some old episodes hop over to youtube leave a comment there yes and you can like comment directly on that yeah yeah so it's just something to to think about our good friends yeah exciting stuff coming up (laughs) It's really exciting stuff. There's some stuff that we haven't mentioned yeah. that we've kind of got in the works. Yeah. Um, so we're excited <laughs> about that too. Also, share your ideas if you're listening and you have some things that you want us to talk about. I know that, like, one thing Taryn and I are super excited is after our college experience series wraps up um, on the 25th of August, the 1st of September we're going to start like our cozy fall yes stuff so uh-huh. got some stuff in the works for that too. exciting things yeah and for just sure. so you know we anytime you leave a comment that um with a request for something for us to talk about we i've been keeping a running list so we have all of your ideas and we'll be yes. integrating them as time goes on so for sure very exciting yeah. so we're very excited too to get feedback from all of you I know that I think there might have been a few suggestions that we've received but we haven't really implemented quite yet mm-hmm. um, they're on the list though <laughs> they're on the list fear not yeah so that's you know something yeah. that we're excited about so get excited get pumped we hope you enjoy your summers this episode isn't over yet because we need to find out what books we're reading oh yeah yeah the books <laughs> do you want to take us away with that? yes I would love to so um this is kind of a thing that happens with me every summer every summer I tend to gravitate toward my good old classic Nancy Drew books <gasps> Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys books oh, I love yes. that <laughs> so I'm reading one right now um Nancy Drew I um, wait let me think oh it's the Haunted Bridge so it's about like, yeah, you know, just Nancy Drew stuff. And so I'm really enjoying it. And it's just, I love those books so much because like, they're just such light reading, but like they have the mystery element, but they're so cute. And like, they just make me think of summer because I've read them like every summer growing up too. This so. is literally like, I was literally thinking about these books today. Oh, really? Because, okay, I'm going to mention her again for, like, the 25th time. <laughs> the author that I follow on Instagram, Alyssa J. Zavalianos, her and an author friend of hers, Jordan Taylor Nylon, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce her name, not 100% sure, but they have been collecting all of the original 64 Nancy Drew books and rereading them. Nice. <laughs> oh, I should, because I have a ton of them at home in California. Yeah, I should read those again. That's awesome, Taryn. I love that. Yeah, it's been fun. (laughs) A lot of fun. What about you, Sarah? What have you been reading? Yeah, so since we last spoke, I finally finished The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. Nice. Um, And then I started a crime fiction trilogy called The Cold Case Justice Series by Janice Cantor. Cantori. I'm not okay. sure. Okay. Um, the first book was called mm-hmm. Drawing Fire. And the second book is called Burning Fire. I don't know. <laughs> uh, like Burning Flame or something to do with fire. <laughs> but the first word is definitely burning. <laughs> um, and it's really good. It's, you know, it's the, the author is a um, former cop. So her books uh-huh. feel very accurate. Nice. Which is really fun. Even though your cozy mystery, like, amateur sleuth is fun too. But this is a lot of fun. Yeah. As well. Yeah, for sure. Have you been watching any movies lately? 
Yes, I've been watching quite a lot of movies um, with my dad. We rewatched the Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries from Homer. I'm going to stop you there because <laughs> I was rewatching them the other day too. They're so good. They're so good. I know. So classic. I love I it. I watched the first four <laughs> on uh-huh. Sunday, on one day, because I had just flown back from California uh-huh. and I binge watched the first four. Nice. Yes, they're really favorite? good. Um, okay, wait, let me think. Oh, I really like the last one, like with the haunted house. Oh, that one's really good. We watched that one together. Yeah, we did. We did. That was fun. Um yeah. we also watched Sweet Home Alabama oh. um the other night. I had never seen that movie. What? And so we watched it. I hadn't ever that seen it. Literally when I was in like high school, uh-huh. that was my favorite movie. Really? I did not yeah. know that. Wow. It's I learned so something funny. new I can about quote you. it. It's such a good movie. I loved it. It was hilarious. Joint checking, flashing in your mind right about now. (laughs) And it was so accurate too. I was just laughing through the whole thing. It was so funny. Yep. Yeah. What about you? Oh, Aurora Tea Garden, as we discussed already. (laughs) So good. I also plan to rewatch. I haven't started yet, but the Mystery One Hundred and One. Yes. Series. Movies. We watched those last fall again. They're so good. Yes. Um, and then I started the show Virgin River on Netflix. Oh yeah, you were telling that me about that. That's been fun. I've heard good things. Yeah, that's that's about it. Yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Yeah, very exciting. You know. So besides that, we've also just kind of had some, you know, that's kind of sticking true to our theme of like talking about like you know, general life stuff, but also just some personal updates. Yay! But some ventures outside of Cozy (laughs) Conversations for Perrin and Sarah separately. Yes. Um, Perrin? Yes! We've talked about this on the podcast before, but tell us about Cozy Cottage Living. Yeah, Cozy Cottage Living is just about ready to launch. Yeah, I'm hoping within the next week. I put a lot of work into it in the last couple of weeks and I am so pumped and I don't exactly know. I have a couple things left to work out, but we are so close. I've been working on this for almost, well, like nine months now. So I am so excited for it to launch and I'm hoping within the next week. So follow um the Cozy Cottage Living on social. Yes. Um, it's we'll on tag Facebook. It below. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tag it below. Great not idea, below. Sarah. <laughs> not below. Well, yeah, not below. YouTube video. We'd be like, like, comment yeah. down below, but like, okay, that's not how it works on Spotify. In the description of the podcast, we will. There you go. Yeah. We will put it there, but yeah, I'm that's super awesome. excited. So yeah. That's cool. Uh-huh. That's fun. What about you, Sarah? Um, chugging away with my writing. I've decided that if I spend time each day planning to write a thousand words, then I should reach about 90,000 words by like July 29th. So that's amazing. Look at you go. (laughs) Thank you. So far, this is day two and I have not written a word yet. So, (laughs) you know, we all have those days. It's fine. Yeah. Um, but because my, I sent... By the time the next season starts, will be my my first. This draft should be finished. That's so crazy. I mean that now, but I know the the draft isn't due to my editor until September twenty fourth. Right, so right. maybe it won't be ready. We'll find out. Yeah, stay tuned. But besides that, I have some exciting news. Um, again, I've talked about her before, Alyssa J. Zavalianos is the christian independent author that i follow on instagram her -hmm. and i have chatted on zoom too but i am what's called a beta reader for her um short story and poem collection that will be releasing in march 2024 called oliferous i am very excited it's so official and professional i'm so proud of you so exciting there's it's me and three other girls and we are we were given a copy of, of like a Google Doc of the book that's releasing next spring. And she get, sent some questions for us to kind of think through and like 
work through as we're reading the the stories. Like I said, it's a short story coll collection with fairy tales. This is a mild um advertisement for <laughs> Alyssa's book. So Woo. find her on Instagram too. <laughs> um, fairy tales, um, adventure stories, and then a bunch of poems. So reading through those and really excited because I'm able to like offer some input to her. Um so definitely stay tuned for that. And you, you can follow me as well on my writing page, Sarah Baylor Writes. Yes. So original, I know. I, I love your pitch. I get happy every time it pops up. <laughs> I appreciate it. I need to post more. I really do. But anyways, um, yeah, be sure to follow on that for any other like writing adventures um, that we've got going on there. But yeah, those are the personal updates and just ways for everyone, because I know we won't be hanging out in this space for the next uh, like seven, eight weeks. I don't yeah, know. I keep changing yeah. the number <laughs> <laughs> for sure. But um, just ways that you can continue to follow us, mm -hmm. share with your friends our podcast. Yeah. Episode. We've got 10 awesome episodes. <laughs> <laughs> to share Taryn do you have a favorite memory from this past season oh yes let me Sorry, think I totally just threw that on the spur of the moment I had fun interviewing you oh that was a lot of fun that was fun I had the questions you asked me specifically <laughs> the ones about jail yeah <laughs> and what was the other weird one? Oh, the serial killer one <laughs> not expecting that I know I was trying to get someone that you wouldn't expect <laughs> I know and I'm over here like what's your dream job like <laughs> no it was good questions I, but I really enjoyed I enjoyed that, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed going back and like sharing stories from when we were roommates yeah that was a lot of fun um yes. yeah that was a lot of fun it was but I'm excited for what this summer holds yeah for what the Lord is going to do in both of our lives. Yes. And in the lives of our listeners. Um, and in the life of this podcast. Yeah. If more people check it out and listen to it on Spotify and Lord willing YouTube in the mm -hmm. next you know few weeks or so. Yeah. And also just all the excitement that we have going for our season two premiere on august 4th Woo! so yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun yeah i'm really excited about it me too yeah i'm just excited to see where the podcast goes and like what the lord does with it so we believe that the lord works and moves in seasons and you know he you know opens up seasons for work and opens up seasons of rest and we believe that rest is a huge important part of our walk with the lord um, so that's kind of just where we're at, where we're going into this summer. We're still going to be, like I said, active on social media. So you can <laughs> stay connected with us there and, um, you know, get the help, get the word out about cozy conversations for season one, especially as the episodes get re-released onto YouTube. And then of course, as well, um, getting pumped and excited for season two on August 4th. Yes. So yeah. And of course, like every episode, we want to end with our cozy cue. Woo! So we decided to theme back around. That didn't make any sense, but it's fine. <laughs> Reuse our original cozy question, which is what sounds cozy to you right now, Terry? <laughs> okay, so now it's summer. The last time I answered this question, it was winter. It was winter, So yeah. what sounds cozy to me, oh, I love what I think is so cozy in the summer is like summer evenings, um, like outside on like the patio with like the fire pit and like roasting marshmallows and um I love getting like the little twinkle lights like the outdoor lights and putting them up yeah. and then I just I love dusk like that time of day when it's like the sun is going down it's so quiet and peaceful but it's not nighttime yet and like right. you know the little fireflies come out like oh, I'm just like sitting there and eating my little s'mores and like a little just a happy little camper yes that's yeah. so cozy I think for me too I always have loved um you know I went to California last week back home um for a week with my family and we got mm -hmm. a chance to go camping up in 
near Yosemite, which was so much fun. Yeah. It's a blessing. Um, but really my favorite thing is like that's cozy to me in the summertime is just being surrounded by friends and family. Um, I know we did have a campfire one night and we roasted marshmallows and made s'mores so and everything. Fun. And it's so funny. I have to share this. <laughs> it's just funny. My cousin Victoria surprised me from Hawaii. Yay. That's a note, but um, it was so much fun. But her dad would always make, my uncle would always, um, whenever he roasted, made s'mores, he would like melt the chocolate over the fire. Oh. Um, so, cause you kind of like put it at the end of like the, the wire okay. the chocolate piece and like put it over the fire for a little bit nice but not too long because chocolate melts super fast and right. so she had the the stick of the chocolate on it uh-huh. and she left it on way too long and her uh, chocolate fell into no. the uh, but it was fun we had a good time and one thing we were doing too is I guess this is my answer to the question just being around with family with friends and and um hanging out and having a good time so that's yeah. what I enjoy and what's cozy to me during the summer yes I love that well Taryn this is it for season one of cozy conversations I can't believe we've made it this far I know (laughs) it's so exciting it is so exciting I'm grateful for this experience for you for what's to come I'm excited to see you know to be able to get back to it but also like take this time to just rest and like regroup yeah yeah ready for the new season and all that's to come yes yeah. me too very grateful for you sarah and very grateful for everyone who has tuned yes. in and listened thank you so much if you're listening to this right now just know that from the bottom of our hearts we are grateful for you yes. we're grateful for your support we're grateful for, grateful for you sharing and talking about cozy conversations and yeah we're grateful for for you yes until august until august 4th put it on your calendars yes mark it up august 4th but in the meantime stay stay cozy